Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you a new tree farm concept. So I got a request recently by someone, I forgot who it was, he wanted a bone meal free tree farm. So here we are, so the concept is you would place the saplings on top of those dirt blocks, then just wait until you have a decent amount of trees, and then you can launch those flying machines here on the side. So what they do is they just transport all the locks to the right into a TNT blast chamber, which is the auto yeah, lock breaking. So now also the flying machines on the outside get launched, there's just a the delay in between, and this really looks oddly satisfying in my opinion. So here the trees are getting pushed inside, first are transported, and now also the second batch arrives, and once every tree has arrived, you just yeah, dispense some TNT and push in the locks in just the right moment. So yeah, most of them would get broken. Of course you could also use TNT duping instead of a normal TNT. Okay, so the flying machines are on the way back. Once they would arrive, they are yeah, holding position. They would also cause the dirt blocks to be lifted back up again. And then you can place new trees. Yeah, also most of the saplings are collected by those water streams here. And you can pick them up here. That's your sapling chest. So this tree farm works with uh, oak trees, birch trees, and jungle trees. It doesn't work with spruce trees because they grow at least six high, but we had to limit the tree height to five. Since uh, for, high, for taller trees, we would need an entirely different uh, flying machine. So if you need any tree type, the farm would work the best with oak trees since they grow the fastest, because they don't suffer from the height limitation. Um, so also another way is that we have to retract those dirt blocks here. There's just some sticky pistons below, um, since the slime blocks would pick up the dirt and this would cause, cause an issue. Also, it's nicer to have them retracted since the water stream can go around it this way. So in my opinion, this tree farm is really simple to build. So here we just have some flying machines. It's the same type four times. So really simple to build, and the rest is just normal wiring. So on this side, you have some pistons pushing locks around, no double piston extender or whatnot, and the rest is here normal wiring. So should be really simple to build, one of the simplest tree farms, definitely. It's also possible to expand the system. So here I mirrored everything to the other side, and you can feed the TNT system from both sides. So this way we can harvest 80 trees. And of course, you should, shouldn't should activate both systems at the same time. Um, so yeah, keep some delay between activating sites, of course. So I try to keep this design as simple as possible, which of course has some disadvantages. Um, so I might make a more sophisticated version later. What I definitely want to improve there is that it would also work with larger trees or taller trees. So it would work with spruce and uh, birch and jungle would grow faster. But then I would need a different um, flying machine. Um, since yeah, we are already at the push limit, I couldn't add to this one. So we definitely need more flying machines there. The second disadvantage of the system is that the flying machine yeah, is quite fast and the locks come in too fast to convert them into a um, yeah, more, more uh, efficient TNT system. So with this system here, you can expect around 5 to 10% loss because some items will always remain behind on yeah, other blocks that don't get exploded. And yeah, the only way around it is to use a more uh, efficient blast chamber, which is slower. So in order to push in the lock slower, I need a slow flying machine, um, which yeah, requires some effort. So I, I might make a more sophisticated version later. So one more final note, those torches here, just make sure that the tree can grow even at night. Then if you want to build this, there's a world download. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.